from St. Anton in Austria. Greg and I are here for the next two days, hiking and e-biking. And doing some yoga and checking out the area, and I think it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be awesome, so let's, let's go. <laughs> Anton is so well set up for hiking that this year they've built these little hammock chill spots. So if you just want to take a break during your, you know, alpine hike, you can have a sit and chill, take in the scenery. Not a bad spot. <laughs> This morning, really, really cool. It's your first time here. What did you think? I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Up from the mountains, the view is incredible. Stunning scenery here in St. Anton. The summertime, everything's green. There's still a bit of snow on the peaks, so perfect for photography and video. And now, what now are we doing? Now it's time to get some e bikes and do some more exploring of the area. Here we go. Yes, it is. Not in the mountains, it's though. Legal. No, right. It's, it's legal, legal cheating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you know, I think so. Faster, slower, Faster, standard slower. is fine. Of course. <laughs> back at the hotel which is called Beluga and that's where we're staying. Yes, nice hotel, nice bike ride and a good first day in St. Anton. So we also scouted a spot that we we're hoping is going to be really good for sunset. So yeah, we'll get back on the bikes once the sun starts going down. In about an hour. And hopefully we'll get some good light. So stay tuned, that's coming up right now. It's almost sunset time. But there are some mad clouds brewing in the distance. Don't know if you guys can see that but the thunder and like this is the sun. And that's threatening. So hopefully we still get something. Yeah, but it might not happen. We Precursor see. to rain. What we just saw a little bit of is the St. Anton and Alberg Giro cycling race, which happens once a year. It's just shy of 200 kilometers with a ton of vertical gain. It's really, really difficult, but people flock from all over Europe to take part in this race and it's happening tomorrow. So that was a little bit of like a pre-race in the city to the actual race, which is happening tomorrow. Unfortunately for us, the weather is still looking kind of crap. So we don't think that the sun is going to set at least, you know, in a photogenic manner. Uh, so that means that we are we're gonna see you tomorrow for yoga first thing tomorrow morning.
morning from the second day in San Anton. Uh, unfortunately, yesterday's sunset did not work out because the weather turned to shit. Um, but it looks like today's gonna be all right. We're doing some yoga, which is exciting, and then we're going up to the Beluga, which is the highest point of San Anton. St. Anton does a uh, yoga festival every summer and it's a mountain yoga festival and it's becoming really popular. It draws a lot of people. It's happening at the end of August and um, we are here to experience what mountain yoga is all about. The serenity and the peacefulness and getting some stretching in which this guy really needs. So time to experience some yoga. from the yoga we had an amazing session with Sandy and now we are heading up to the Valuga which is the highest point of St. Anton let's go is the Beluga, the highest point of St. Anton. Check out the view from here. So this is my first time up here at the Beluga and the views are stunning, absolutely beautiful. Have a look at this. So it is time to leave the Beluga and head back down to St. Anton. Getting back on the e-bikes and going to the Ferrell Valley. Go! So the cool thing about being in St. Anton in summertime is you can also get this summer card at the tourist information. It is good for your whole stay and you can um, you get access to different sorts of uh, activities like hiking, biking, yoga and it's all included in this set price. Awesome. Back at the Beluga Hotel, got the drone, got the bikes, time to go. Biking! Just getting into the Faval Valley in St. Anton and we come across the bike park. Bike park is brand new this year and it is an option for you to come out of the town and uh, yeah, practice some downhill. You can also do dirt biking here and it's free. Except for the rental, you have to rent the bikes for five or 39 for the motocross. But yeah, something really fun to do if you're looking for a half day or something outside of St. Anton. suspension bridge in St. Anton in the Verval Valley. This looks very cool. It's right there. Check it out. Summer 2017 bike park suspension bridge. This place just keeps on getting better.
after exploring the Ferval Valley on e-bikes. It was really cool to check out the new suspension bridge and the bike park. And I think that we're going to call it a vlog for now. This is the first two days done in St. Anton and it's still relatively early in the evening but we're getting up for a 4 a.m. sunrise hike tomorrow oh, yeah. so we need to get to bed early and we're going to start another vlog uh, beginning tomorrow back to the more traditional style of behind the scenes photography and videography. Yeah, thank you for watching this one though and we'll see you on the next one. Hope you liked it. Catch you on the next one.